Hello everyone, it is Lucy and today we're going to be chatting about one of my favourite subjects to chit chat about on this channel, which is Korean fashion. K-style, K-fashion, K-stew. No, not K-stew today, maybe another time. But recently I picked up a few different fashion pieces from some Korean brands that I have not tried before. All of them were on Yes Style, but they were also brands that have their own websites, if you know what I mean. They're brands that also retail on Yes Style. You get my drift. There's actually only a few pieces in this video, but I really wanted to go out of my way and try some of the different brands that I hadn't tried before. And I also wanted to try some brands that were just a little bit more of the pricey ones on Yes Style, because typically I find that in terms of hit rate on Yes Style, the slightly pricier brands, I tend to just get a better hit rate. They usually tend to turn out better for me anyway. I've definitely gotten some real steals on Yes Style that were really super affordable, but I have also had some that I just thought were not really Good. So I guess I wanted to try out those slightly more expensive, more premium brands if you like and let you know if I think they are worth the money and you know maybe if this piece is an indicator of the general brand's quality. I should mention that uh, this voucher was gifted to me by the YesStyle team. They just reached out and said, do you want to try some clothes, baby? And I said, yeah. <laughs> but they don't have any approval over this content or this video or anything like that. And, you know, getting things like that um, as a smaller creator, it does mean that I'm able to kind of try some more expensive brands and things like that that I might not be kind of able to do on the regular. So hopefully this is helpful. Although all of the items have sold out apparently, even though I just ordered them and received them. So um, it's not great. But hopefully you can take them as more of an indicator of the general quality of the brand. Alrighty, so the first brand I wanted to test out was Darba Girl. Darba Girl was one of the more recognizable name brands to me. Um, similar to Chu, I was aware that they had their own website and kind of their own whole thing going on. But they also retail through YesStyle compared to some brands on YesStyle, which if you look up their name, they don't really seem to retail anywhere else. It's sort of like dropshipping, but like not really. There is a really great video by a creator who I have been really enjoying lately called Sewin in Seoul and she did a video basically about how online Korean boutiques work. Check that video out for details. Basically most Korean boutiques from small to large are probably doing some type of wholesale purchasing but some of them also have their own in-house brands where they make their own designs. While they may all be buying from wholesalers some just may have a better hit rate because they just buy and source the better stuff. So like all the brands in the studio, I have not ordered from Darba Girl before, but they tend to have very feminine, chic, more like mid twenties, kind of like mature office worker, girly vibes. You can shop direct and it is a little bit more affordable to shop direct from them as opposed to through YesStyle, but the shipping is not cheap and the returns are likely a hassle. So if you just want to get one or two things, perhaps YesStyle could be a better way to go. Up to you, do your own research. You're a big brain, beautiful person. Mwah. Kiss. So I'm going to show you the first item and I will try and remember to share sizes and prices of everything as I chat about them. But in case I don't, do check the description box down below. But this is the first piece I got. It is this kind of cropped sweater with a really like nice structured kind of wide neckline. It is a cotton polyester blend and the reason I purchased it is because I was really inspired and have been really enjoying the Kate mitts. Kate is a designer brand and I do really like their stuff um, but I do think it is definitely on the higher end of the price range for me personally. I just kind of want to try out the style or I guess I saw this piece and it reminded me a lot of the Kate piece. Also I really liked that it was this kind of sage green color. If you've been watching me recently you'll know that I've been quite into this like soft sage minty green. I know the khaki is really popular at the moment and the Bottega green is really popular at the moment like that Kelly green. Um, Pastel sage. I feel like it just, look. I like injecting color into my wardrobe and for me, this color is really, really easy to style because it matches with gray, black, white. Okay, most colors match with gray, black and white, but you get, you get my drift. It's a good color for me, so I'm going with it. This was around 56 US dollars, which is not an insignificant amount of money. I believe that would be somewhere like 75? Australian dollars, something like that. But um, I don't think that's, for me, an unreasonable price to pay for a jumper, but it's probably more than I would normally kind of pay blind buying on Yes Style. So uh, I will try it on and let you know if it was worth the cashola. Okay, so this is the top from Darba Girl. Um, I've just tucked it into a pair of my trusty PJ jeans. Shout out to PJ jeans if you have a small and a big thin. They're good. It's giving me Anne Boleyn for some reason. I don't know why it's giving me Anne Boleyn. I think it's kind of weird. I want to say it's like the, the neckline green, 
My brain is too small at this current time thinking about it. Again, 2022 is my bimbo year. Less thoughts, more fun for me. I feel like the fabric does feel really plush and nice and it just looks really nice. I feel, I don't know. I just feel like there's this element of kind of like quality. I don't want to say it's the perfect dupe for the Kate one, but I think if you're just looking for that overall kind of luxurious knit put together that girl kind of vibe, I feel like this is it. And I feel like it fits really nicely. A lot of necklines in Korean fashion, I find tend to sit on me at a really awkward height where it's sort of like a little bit higher or like it kind of goes across like over the the chesticle rather than kind of across in that flattering way. So this kind of neckline really, really suits my body type. I'm obsessed with the bishop sleeve as well. I feel like that's really flattering. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints. Also to show you the full length, I just tucked it into the jeans because I feel like it looks cuter, but that is the full length there. So it's not really like down to my hips. It is definitely more of a cropped fit, but if you have a high-waisted pair of jeans or a skirt or something like that, you should be able to tuck it in no problemo. It's not too thick that I think it will look bulky tucked in. I am really, really happy with this one and I can't wait to have this knit in rotation. Okay, so the next piece I got from Dabba Girl is another gorgeous, gorgeous cotton poly blend. <laughs> um, but this is a 65% cotton. So I thought that was kind of significant. A lot of the times when you're buying Korean fashion, a lot of the knits are an acrylic or a polyester. So it's quite surprising for me whenever there is cotton in the mix, just generally. I don't know if that's something that Darby Girl do or if it's just maybe the particular piece I found, but I thought that was quite nice. But this is a bishop sleeve kind of knit sweater dress. And I picked it out because a lot of the time sweater dresses, I wouldn't say they're like super popular, especially in the specific state in which I live. We're not really wearing sweater dresses more than maybe a couple months a year. It's just not something that would be in my wardrobe a lot. However, I do love sweater dresses and think they're really cute and they just really align with my personal kind of preppy feminine style. So winter is coming up for us down under. So I wanted to give this a go. And a lot of times with cream brands where they do have quite a few cute sweater dresses. The one in this picture actually comes in at the waist, which I don't see too, too often with sweater dresses. And I just really like kind of how minimal the styling is. There's not a lot of extra random bobbles and ruffles. It's just very super simple. So I'm hoping that simplicity is the key here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I really, really want to like this one. Okay, and piece number two from Darby Girl. I don't love this one as much as the first one, but I'm not quite sure why exactly, because there's sort of not anything wrong with it, <laughs> but I guess maybe it's not as much right with it. I like the color and the fit is good. It's different to what it looks like on the model. I expected that. <laughs> In fact, with most Korean fashion brands, I just expect that, that's totally fine. But the model, obviously the skirt kind of flares out a little bit more. It actually does look nice. Sometimes with fitted sweater dresses, they're like fitted or tight, but they're just like too chunky. It's a bit more relaxed on the hips and the top, and it does kind of come nicely cinched in at the waist. So I do think it is quite flattering. I think there's something about like, maybe it's the shoulder and neckline design. It's giving me 80s, maybe a little bit more mature than I prefer to dress. I like that feminine kind of chic vibe, but I'm also, in my mid twenties. So I kind of want to enjoy that. I think the top before um, really fits into how I kind of already style my clothes already. This one might be a little bit more of a styling challenge. Actually, I don't know, something a little bit more like snazzy. <laughs> I think I'm going to say snazzy. A bit more snazzy to kind of like freshen up a bit. I've got this like pattern bag from Princess Polly, which is really cute and I wear a lot. Something like that for me anyway. I just need to like zhuzh it up. I don't have the pink hair modifier anymore. But yeah, I do I do like it. I'm not as obsessed with it as the first one, but in terms of quality and expectation and stuff like that, I'm really happy with it. I don't really have any complaints. Although actually, I will say there's no tag to tell you whether this is the front or the back. I tried both and this feels more right to me. There's no tags. So good luck. So the next piece I purchased was from Envy Look and Envy Look is another one of those brands that I have seen floating around for a while, but haven't really investigated. It's definitely a more minimal type of brand with tailored basics, a lot more minimal and casual than something like Darby Girl, more your uni, college, weekend type of looks. I don't think you can shop directly through Envy Look internationally. I could be wrong, but it seems like the only way to get it internationally is through third party sites like Yes Style or Cody Book, which I need to check out and try at some point. So the piece I got from Envy Look is this. Again, it's probably a bit too long to show you here, but is this kind of midi 
A-line plaid skirt. I really like plaid and I have a couple of shorter, more mini style plaid skirts in my wardrobe, but I was keen to try out something a little bit longer. Um, and it has this sort of like felty, fleecy type fabric, like flannelly kind of, which feels quite cozy. It doesn't feel spectacular. It was around 55 US dollars. So first impressions, I'm not wowed by it in terms of like the quality. The two knits I just picked up before, the knits themselves felt really soft and plush and thick. But I was more excited about the potential of the fit because it's an A-line fit. So it's quite slim at the waist and it kind of should skim over the hips and do really nice trapezoid long shape. Um, but I'm a bit nervous about that because typically, uh, you know, the Korean girlies A-line Line is probably not on the same dimensions as my A-line. So hopefully we shall see. Fingers crossed. That's the police coming <laughs> for the crime that is the skirt. As I'm chatting, I'll just include a couple of clips here so you can see me kind of like rotate around in full length. I uh, didn't know if I'd be able to get the skirt on, but I have. It looks a little wonky, right? And I thought it was just because I put it on wonky, but it's actually like cut. Like that's the middle band and the material is kind of at a slight angle, but I feel like it's not enough of an angle to look like an angle angle. So I feel like it just sort of looks unintentional, which isn't great. Um, so there's a side zip on this bad boy and there's still room in the waist. There is no more room in the hips or thigh region. It is tightly packed in there, so much so that as I pulled it over my head, I was like, I don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work out. However, on the good side, there is like a polyester kind of lining slip sort of underneath. And typically with those in Korean brands, if they have that on skirts, I find that it ends up not going so well, but that one actually did fit over my hips and butt with no problem. So that's good. It's not the most comfortable as a result. Um, I do feel very like, you know, kind of doing that like Roblox, uh, whatever. It's not okay though, it's not, you know, on Roblox. It's not bad. I don't know if I would recommend it. It's just okay. I kind of want it to be more of a like, like kind of just lying delicately across my curves rather than kind of like squeezing my curves into solitary confinement. I guess not solitary because both my thighs are there. You know, they're in couples isolation. I guess that's kind of fun. It's like a little honeymoon for my legs. You know, it's got some things going for it, um, but ultimately this isn't something that I'm gonna keep in my wardrobe because I don't love it. Um, and I tend not to keep things that I don't love. It's not bad, the quality's fine. I would try other things from this brand, but it wouldn't be uh, A-line skirts. <laughs> okay, so the next piece I purchased was from Hot Ping, another brand which I've seen sort of floating around. So finally trying it today. Today. <laughs> it's never gonna get out of my head. They do ship internationally and I would say their style is overall a little bit more casual, more street style than the other two brands I just showed you. But I would also say that the street style they have is still very much put together, which I think is more of a wider trend within Korean fashion. Like you just tend to get more of that almost Parisian chic vibe, but just sort of like a little bit of a spin on that. Very model off duty, effortlessly kind of cool, that kind of vibe. So that seems to be what hot ping looks like to me. Now don't judge me because I spent hours <laughs> picking out the pieces for this video um, and I saved a lot of them, but some of them would sell out. Like I kind of marinated on this video for a bit. So this is not the same skirt as the last one. It's it's different. Okay, it's a mini, mini skirt. And it's a Glen check as opposed to a plaid. I'm sure that's slightly different. I just really liked the way that this skirt was styled. I noticed the length is a little bit longer than you typically see. And I thought that was kind of nice. And the other main thing that I thought was interesting is that they had three sizes for this skirt, which shouldn't be remarkable, but for Korean fashion, I thought it was pretty good. I got the largest size, so size three, um, but I probably could have gone with a size two, sort of like either or, so we'll see how we go. But also just generally, I wanted to mention that hopping seemed to have better sizing ranges than most. I'm not saying it's good, but um, just looking at their website, I noticed that they seem to have a bit more of a wider size range on a lot of their items. So I think it's worth noting in that case. Grey skirt to Glen Check Boogaloo. <laughs> it's actually a lot nicer than the last skirt we tried on. I will say that immediately straight out the gate. The material feels a lot nicer, putting it on felt a lot nicer. There is actually quite a lot of room in this skirt. Like I do feel like it's actually almost a bit too much fabric or it looks a bit daggy maybe? I don't know, it's a little, it's giving a little frump vibes to me. Um, and maybe that's just because it's not quite as like cinched on the waist as I would have it. But I feel like it's sitting quite comfortably 
on the waist, not cinched, but comfy. I don't know, it's just sort of like sagging a little in the front here a bit. And like many other people, I do have vital organs that need to sit there, but it's actually not where that bump is. It's just kind of like draping like that. Like that lump is up there. So the, the draping is down there. So it's not correlating to that, which is sort of why it's bothering me because I don't mind having a little vital organs bump. It's probably good that they're there. <laughs> Most doctors and medical professionals would say it's good to have them there and working. Yeah, not not quite sure. As you can see, there is lots of space at the back, like multiple, multiple arms worth. I have plenty of space there. In saying that, this is the largest size, so I'm glad that there is room there. Um, again, it's not exceptional sizing, but for Korean sizing, I think it's notable because it's not the norm, right? See, I feel like I could have sized down, but I feel like it would have been too tight on my hips. So I think size three is right, but I'm not, I'm not in love with it. It's almost like the pieces of fabric are like slightly different lengths, and so it's like bunching up because I don't, like even if I pull it away from myself, it's still, bunches, do you know what I mean? Like it's still, it's not unless I pull it all the way out and hold it taut that I feel like it kind of sits nicer. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I just feel like it's, why, why? The actual quality of it feels nice and it had its own like tags and everything. So it's a bit more like brand feeling than some of the more wholesale feeling items, if that makes sense. It's not quite right for me, unfortunately. And last but not least, the final piece in this video is from Nanning Nine. Again, another brand I have heard a lot about, but it is gonna be my first time trying it today. The clothing seems to be a bit more colorful compared to some of the other brands that I mentioned. It reminds me a lot of that, like if you Googled Korean fashion, five years ago, <laughs> some of their stuff would come up. A lot of the clothing on their website reminds me a lot of the K-pop airport fashion <laughs> that's been around for a long time. And it makes sense because this brand has also been around for quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. Their website also seemed to have the widest variety in terms of different vibes and styles. It was very, 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 they had a lot of stuff. The piece I picked up from Nanning Nine is this, Again, I'll just put a picture, I don't know why. I like this format because it feels very chatty and informal, like I'm chatting to a pal, but also I'm like trying to show you and you're just like seeing a blob of fabric. It is this cotton shirt dress. It's not the first time I've been sucking into buying a cotton shirt dress and I haven't had a lot of success with them. So maybe this was a fool's errand, but okay. A lot of the time with Korean fashion brands and shirt dresses, they tend to end up being some kind of polyester, good, good. But this one, when I looked at it, I was just drawn in by the photo because I just liked that it was a bit more of a classic shirt dress style. It seemed a bit more longer. And I really liked the way they styled it as well. They styled it with a pearl necklace and a little like pink cardigan, kind of, again, preppy, vibes, girly, gossip girl. Lucy, me. It felt very like up my alley. And when I clicked on the materials as I want to do, it said it was 100% cotton. Okay, I'm paying slightly more attention than I was before. If it was a polyester dress, that would kind of relegate it to being more of an autumn winter piece just cause it gets too hot here. But by being cotton, I feel like it's a bit more of a transitional all year kind of thing. So I was excited for that. And yes, I know there is gonna be some controversy because if you do look at the listing for the item or the details about it, it does say that it's ivory. I prefer white to colors like cream, ivory. I don't mind an off-white if it's more of like a gray, cool toned white, but essentially neutral to cool toned whites. Preferred look better on me than kind of a creamy white. It's just color theory, babes. It's just knowing myself. Anyway, this said ivory and in the pictures, it didn't look that ivory to me. And you know what? For once, I feel like that worked out because it sort of looks like an off-white kind of creamy ivory, but overall, I would say this looks more white. Like it's almost like when you bunch it all together, it looks more ivory, but kind of when you actually like lay it out, it looks more white. That looks white to me. With cotton, if I really wanted to, I could just add a teeny little bit of bleach to the wash and brighten it up a bit. So that is more of an option here. If I like it, that is. So let me try it on and find out. <laughs> okay, holy guacamole, there is a lot more fabric in this shirt dress than I was expecting. Wow, that feels very nice. Again, it is 100% cotton um, and I'm just scrunching the sleeves up because that's how they had it in this picture. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I expected, like a lot bigger, um, but I'm not displeased by that fact because it's a one size garment. So I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. I figured it would be maybe oversized on the model, but maybe more like straight sized on me. But I feel like this is still like really nice and oversized. And I feel like there's a lot of styling potential here. And it's very cute. Okay, I'm gonna get my cardigan and do the thing. 
It's giving tennis club. It's giving generational wealth built on nefarious means. I don't mind that at all. I thought I wasn't gonna like kind of the oversized waist. You know me, I like a little cinchy cinch. But because the waist actually falls where my actual waist is, as opposed to kind of that baby doll cut that you know I'm not super into, I don't actually mind the oversized fit. It like looks fine. I would tie it, but I feel like the sleeves aren't really long enough. Oh, opulence. Oh, that's a nice twirl. I wasn't expecting that. This is great, honestly. You could start with some, <laughs> see here. You could start with, I feel like, some kind of boots and go for that like white dress, dark boot thing. You could start with ballet flats, like there's a little sling back kind of Chanel inspired heels. I feel like I was not expecting, look how much fabric, look how much fabric. And then let me show you the back. Look how much fabric. Huh? Huh? And because it's all floaty and kind of va va boom, it's not really see-through either. It could be a little bit see-through if you were wearing like super dark undergarments or something like that, but um, I don't think you, you can't really see what I'm wearing and I would say they are semi-conspicuous. So that's good. So many possibilities. And it's so breezy because it's cotton, it's comfy. I'm not sweating up a storm, which I normally do in this room when I film. <gasps> Although if I do it like that, it's giving kind of like cult vibes. But I wouldn't style it in cult vibes. I would style it in cute wealth cult <laughs> vibes. <laughs> I was gonna get my vest out and show you how cute it would be with my vest, but I put my vest into storage because it's not cold enough to wear it yet. But rest assured. Ooh, this with the chunky loafers and like little, ooh, and like little scrunched up socks. Ooh, 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 I'm excited. Okay, yay, yay, that's really cute. I feel like <laughs> I'm gonna check the comments and everyone's gonna be like, are you sure, babe? But ultimately I am the judge and the executioner. Okay, yeah. Oakley Doakley, and with that, that is all of the Korean fashion items I have to share with you today. Just a few bits and bobs to share from some different Korean fashion brands. Let me know if you feel like I should try some more pieces from any of the brands, if you feel like any were standouts, let me know what your favorite piece was. In full transparency, I'm filming this outro before I try all of them on, before I get all hot and sweaty and gross. But I'm sure you will be able to tell me in the comments below which one I looked good in and which one I did not. And I'll probably know as well because I'm semi self-aware. <laughs> If you have any recommendations for brands, whether they are Korean fashion boutiques or otherwise, that you'd like me to review and check out and be the sacrificial fashion lamb for, then leave them down in the description box below. I love trying out new things and kind of letting you know what works and what doesn't, especially if you have a similar body type or proportions to me. Hopefully that can be helpful, kind of handy. I don't know. Thank you to Yes Style for gifting me this coupon so I could just do whatever this is <laughs> with it. I really appreciate it. But uh, I'm also gonna do a quick plug here. I have just released my skincare spreadsheet. It is exactly what it sounds like in that it is a giant spreadsheet. <laughs> it's my skincare spreadsheet of all the skincare products that I'm currently testing, my favorites and recommendations. Um, and I have kind of notes and I've read them all and I've categorized them. It's a whole spreadsheet fun fest. So if you wanted to support the channel and shop through that, um, I believe you get some money off if you use my code as well. Just generally, I hope that spreadsheet is informative. Um, I'm gonna continue to update it going forward as well. Cause it's also handy for me to just have a big database. I don't know, spreadsheets are fun. Shout out to the very sweet girl who thought I was a Virgo for um, doing that. I'm not, I'm actually a Libra. Libra pride, where my scale girlies at. I always enjoy chatting about Korean fashion and I know it is some of your favorite kind of content as well. So hopefully you enjoyed it also. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.